Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. With Thanksgiving behind us and Christmas looming, many Americans are wrestling with their budgets. Gifts, food, and family trips will most likely add up to a small fortune. Families will have to scrimp and save in order to go on those holiday vacations they've been planning. Unless, of course, you were the Obama family. New records have come out, proving that former President Barack Obama spent way more on travel than we previously believed. Democrats tend to spend a lot. Their bloated government handouts put a massive burden on hard-working Americans. We work to fund these liberals' toxic programs. However, it seems like Barack Obama perfected spending other people's money to an art form. Not only did he burn through taxpayers' cash to fund Obamacare, food stamps, and wasteful agencies, he was spending our money personally like a drunk kid on prom night. Last year, it was reported that Obama spent over $85 million of taxpayer money to fund his trips and campaign expenses, but conservative group Judicial Watch has just acquired records that show a whole lot more. The real total cost of Barack Obama's family travel and campaigning amounts to a whopping $114 million. That's your money folks. Newly released presidential travel records from the U.S. Department of the Air Force and the Secret Service show that former President Barack Obama's family vacations and campaign expenses cost taxpayers $114 million. The latest batch of documents released by the two agencies shows that the Obamas spent $9,028,346.90 on non-work-related travel bringing the total amount of personal travel expenses during Obama's presidency to $114,691,322.17. None of us should be surprised that Obama spent lots of our money while in office. However, this amount really takes the cake. You can expect costs related to work travel. The president goes all around the world to meet with leaders and attends important summits. With him goes staff personnel, and secret service. Security needs to clear every place the president goes to ensure it is safe. That kind of legwork doesn't come cheap. However, knowing this is a burden the secret service goes through every time Obama boarded an airplane, you'd think the man would have been a bit more conscientious and perhaps reduce the amount of vacationing and campaigning, you know, for the sack of the taxpayer. Nope. The additional records show Secret Service and Air Force expenses for two Obama family vacations that took place the weekend of February 14, 2014, and two campaign trips Michelle Obama made to North Carolina to campaign for Hillary Clinton in 2016. The two vacations, which included Michelle Obama's annual trip to Aspen, Colorado, with her daughters and former President Obama's annual golfing trip to Palm Springs, cost the Secret Service $272,192.91, records show. Of course, there were Michelle's campaign trips. Those cost the Air Force $40,902.40. The plane she flew in had an operating cost of $5,312 per hour. President Obama also traveled to Chicago numerous times during the last three years of his presidency. The cost? A mere $7 million. And, guess what? He's still traveling on the taxpayer's dime. But Obama's taxpayer-funded trips did not end there. Secret Service documents showed that Obama spent nearly $2 million of taxpayer money on post-presidency travel. The former president's travel destinations, however, were redacted for privacy and law enforcement reasons. It seemed like Obama viewed the office of the president as a symbol of wealth and status. Instead of serving the public, he indulged. Instead of viewing it as a duty, he partied. Again and again. He wasn't so much concerned with improving the United States, or protecting our freedoms, as he was packing the White House with celebrities and flying on his private plane. So far, President Donald Trump's travel has cost taxpayers only a fraction of what Obama spent. 
The documents also show that Trump spent $2,821,367.34 on non-work-related travel, bringing the total known travel costs for the president and his family to $10,381,792.35. Air Force documents show that Trump has spent $1.1 million of taxpayer money on two trips he made to his Mar-a-Lago resort in April 2017 to meet with Chinese President Xi Jinping and to celebrate Easter. Do you think President Trump's travel will end up being as costly as Obama's? Perhaps he'll be a little more considerate with our money? Let us know your thoughts. If you have any friends that still think Obama was an amazing president, be sure to show them these numbers. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News. News.